we've set up the bio cube for salt water and what we're doing now is we're actually feeding a sun polyp which is a type of coral that doesn't photosynthesize so some corals that you keep you might want to supplement their photosynthesis if they do photosynthesize and you would normally do it with a phytoplankton which is a liquid it usually comes in liquid form that you just add a half a cap for or a few drops to your water however this coral the sun polyp it's a tubastra it is it requires direct feed so you can feed it a variety of feeds from uh, 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 cyclops which is what we're going to feed today mysis shrimp or other coral feeds or fish feeds so we're what, it, what you normally do is their feed comes in frozen cubes, as you can see. And since we're using the bio cube, it's a very small aquarium. So in a normal saltwater aquarium that are 100, 150 gallons and up, you could just take an entire cube, pop it up, put it in a little cup with a little aquarium water, let it thaw out, and what will happen is you can then just add it to your aquarium and feed your fish or your corals. In this case, since our aquarium is small, I actually cut the cubes in half. I have actually a half cube that's already been thawed and a little bit of the tank water. Here it is here. And then you will add one of these things, which is like a turkey baster. So we fill it up. As you can see, it's sucking up the cyclo cyclops. And then, if you look down in the tank, here's our sun polyp. Right down here, the orange one. Now, what I've done is I also turned off the water pump to the tank so that um, when I apply the cyclopede, or the coral feed, it goes right on the coral and it doesn't get swept away right away. So sometimes you might want to just put a little drop or two of the feed to give the fish some feed on the side. I already fed them previous. And uh, so right now we're adding the cyclopede with the turkey baster or the baster, the coral baster, I guess you can call it. And you want to get, just put a little bit on top of each tentacle so that it gets fed and that's all there is to it and sometimes your fish might come and actually try to attack the coral a little bit and these little clownfish are, are in there they actually shouldn't be because I fed them previous but as you know fish they're, they're always hungry so another a way to get around this if it's a big problem if you have very aggressive fish is just to take a two liter pot bottle that's clear have it cut and clean beforehand and you just place it on top of your coral so that the fish can't get at it so here we are this is it